welcome back. Today I'm going to tell you a little bit about the festivals that we celebrate here in central Italy in the spring and summer so we can get ready for traveling again. Okay, Tuscia Etruria or northern Lazio is located very conveniently between halfway between Rome and Tuscany. So let's start planning on our next trips for next spring. Uh, the last festival that we actually had here was a uh, carnival, which happens 40 days before Easter. And then, of course, everything else was canceled, including the Easter processions, which are extremely interesting. And they go way back in time. About 700 years they've been doing this festival in Tarquinia. Uh, and also the city of Sutri has um, interesting processions throughout the uh, Easter period. The Pranzo del Purgatorio is held uh, on Ash Wednesday instead. And for the last 700 years, they've been making this huge lunch for about 2,000 people, all eating together in the enormous um, wine cantina. And the cooks are men. So this is a very old festival, but for the first time, it was canceled this year. Next year, we'll be there. Uh, May 1st is really the beginning of the festivals dedicated to... Uh, flowers and uh, spring. Here we are in the medieval quarter of San Pellegrino in Viterbo, and the whole area is decorated with beautiful flowers, all of the piazzas and in front of the papal palace. Remember, Viterbo was a papal city, just like Rome and Avignon, something very special that makes it uh, the place to come in May. And then a week later, May 8th, in Vetrala, where we are now, there is the um, very ancient festival, the Wedding of the Trees. This year it didn't happen, of course, but they did make a special documentary, and this room was part of the film set. So uh, if you come to Vetrala in Viterbo in the beginning of May, you will be able to enjoy these very ancient festivals. There's a procession, the flag throwers, and it's not done for tourists, it's done for the people of the city itself. Another week goes by, another important ancient festival. Here we are on Lake Bolsena. This is the Barabata festival, the celebration of the harvest and of the uh, springtime. And so we have, again, it's only men that march in these processions and sing, and they carry these, uh, they, they have these floats which upon which they put the, um, the fruits of their labor, fish and vegetables and all the things that they produce. So it's a, a very ancient festival, but um, beautiful to, to uh, participate in. And all of the towns you'll see uh, processions in the month of May. Uh, and then usually they decorate the streets with flowers and even the facades of the buildings are all uh, be beautified for especially for the Madonna. But there are also festivals that are just celebrations of good times, of uh, flowers and food and music. And here in Vitrala, we have a, an outdoor theater, an auditorium, uh, where uh, opera is put on and classical music. And then close by in Viterbo, there's a Roman theater outdoors, where in the evening they have concerts and dance festivals. Here's a flamenco group. So there's lots of things to do out of doors in the summertime in this area. The cantine, the piazze, the gardens are all used for um, wine tasting and eating out with friends. So there's um, things happening during the day and also in the evening. It's also the best time to visit some of our local castles. The uh, Etruria or Tusha area is famous for its magnificent buildings that are some of which are still lived in by the original families. Here's the Castello of um, Vignanello, and this other one is in Mugnano, a small town near Bomarzo. And uh, in my books the, about Etruria, I've included uh, a map of all of these castles that you can visit and uh, where they are. Now we're into the month of July. The month of July is a very important, the festival of Santa Cristina in Bolsena. And the young people of the town uh, put on these tableaux vivant with uh, different scenes, the mysteries of Santa Cristina, they're called, showing the different ways that she was um, martyrized, or how they tried to martyrize Cristina. So that's in July, and, and it's on the Lake of Bolsena, which is our beautiful lake nearby. And then another town that's very close is Tuscania, and here we have uh, many wonderful Romanesque churches to visit if it's too hot outside. 
And then, of course, we have the lavender festival. Look, at the lavender here is just as impressive as what you will find in Provence. September is still considered summer, and September 3rd is the most, uh, the major feast of uh, the area in Viterbo. This tall, lighted bell tower structure is called La Macchina di Santa Rosa, and the men in their uniforms, white with the red sash, carry this through the town at night, and it's very, very impressive. It's something you have to see. It's very emotional, too, because it, people really participate in this. Again, it's done for the people of the city. Not, it's not a tourist attraction, really. Okay, so Santa Rosa in Viterbo, something definitely to see. Now, these are just a few of the things you should know about the festivals uh, if you want to come to this area. Other material, other uh, travel essays can be found in my books that are written uh, in, about the area. There's one in English over here, the one in Italian, and then I have a bilingual book also. So if you want to practice your Italian, that's the book you should get. So follow me on my website. I'm also on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. And if you want to order books, you can send me an email. Thank you so much, and we'll see you in Tusha next summer and next spring.